Last week I interviewed Lana Vosser. Lana is a prophetess from Australia. And one of the things I like about her is her prophecies are extremely encouraging, extremely uplifting. So I said, Lana, have you ever had a prophecy that's kind of like uh, a warning of something horrific that, that could potentially occur? And she said, yes. And when she told me about it, especially since the midterms are coming up in a, in a couple of weeks, I thought, I've got to take the excerpt of this show, since the show itself will not be out before the midterms, and I've got to get this prophetic warning out to as many people as possible. And uh, it's going to surprise some, and others uh, it's not going to surprise, but I will tell you this, I'm 100% convinced that prayer will, prefer, will uh, turn around what the devil means for evil. It's going to turn around for good. Um, God's been personally speaking to me about President Trump. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, the only way you can know really what's going on is to have a God filter through the news because uh, the news isn't news, you know that. The news is people's opinion. So without discernment, and I don't mean discernment by what you hear, I mean discernment from God, uh, you'll be kind of like the emperor's new clothes. Do you remember that old fairy tale, so to speak? Uh, there was an emperor and the best tailor in the, in the, in the, the uh, area he lived made him a suit. And the suit, everyone looked at him and said, that's the best suit I've ever seen. And so he walked out in a parade one day wearing this new suit that was so smartly tailored. And a little boy pointed at him and started laughing and said, the emperor, he's naked. You see, he, the suit really wasn't a suit. And many people, when it comes to news, if you don't hear from God and not based on forming an opinion by what you see, you may come up with the wrong conclusion. God knows everything. We know just a little bit. So I want to go to this excerpt, which won't be on for a couple of months, and have you have an inside revelation from God. So Lana is not a political person, especially not the politics of the United States. You're kind of minding your own business yeah. and what happens? I go to bed one night and I have a dream. And in my dream, it was one of those dreams that was so vivid. And, uh, and I saw Donald Trump and he was standing in a marina and he was putting, he was uh, speaking really passionately, but I couldn't hear anything he was saying. And then all of a sudden I was taken above the United States and I remember I was like floating and I was looking down and across the nation in red letters, it said the word Trump. And then all of a sudden the nation began to shake like violently. And as it was shaking, the letters rearranged and it became triumph. And I hear this booming voice in my dream that says, Donald Trump shall lead the United States into triumph. And I woke up. So she has several dreams. He becomes president, but then she had a very strong warning mm -hmm. about President Trump. What was mm -hmm. that? Yeah, after that dream, the Lord, I really felt, gave me his heart uh, to really just be praying for him. And uh, one morning I was sitting with the Lord, having my coffee, and I said, what's on your heart today, Lord? And straight away a vision opened up in front of my eyes. And, uh, and Jesus took me into a room and, and we were standing at the back of the room looking and at a table, a planning table, I saw, um, what, I saw the enemy and there were all these um, demons all around him and they were looking at a blueprint. And I knew that it was a, a blueprint of, of not great things planned to come against uh, Donald Trump. And the Lord looked at me and he said, you must call the intercessors to be rising up and the body of Christ to be praying protection over Donald Trump as he moves into everything that I have for him. Now, you know what I find most Christians 
judge people. We should not judge to begin with. Most Christians judge people on the facts that they have. Mm -hmm. The problem is, they're as logical mm -hmm. as me, and I don't have all the facts. Yeah. So how can I make an intelligent decision that God can make? That's right. All I know, all I know, is I've had prophet after prophet after prophet before President Trump even ran, even won. Tell me the, the same things you've been telling me. Yeah. Somehow, despite what our limited information is telling us, God has the big picture, mm -hmm. and all I know is I want to follow God. Amen. And I want to pray right now for the protection mm -hmm. of President Trump. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with me? Mm -hmm. After all, God says we're to do that. Yeah. Father, we agree that there are angels all around him. Yeah. We agree that there is a wall of protection around him and his wife and his children. Mm -hmm. And we agree no weapon formed against him can prosper. And we agree that you will give this president wisdom. Yes. Wisdom is the principal thing. Yes. Wisdom to run this country. Yes. For what purpose? I know your purpose, God. America has not fulfilled its destiny. We are to evangelize the world. Yes. That's why we have to pray for America to be all that God's called it to be. Amen. I usually don't like to get political. Why? I was born in Washington, D.C., and when I was raised, we didn't even have the vote in Washington, D.C. But I am after America fulfilling its destiny. I am after America being a light unto the world with the gospel. It always has been and it hasn't even touched its potential. So I know something. I know at this point, God has put a president in office with all of his um, things that blemishes that you see, I see, and God sees. But not every president, not every person in the Bible in authority was perfect or even a godly person, but God puts them in for his purpose. This I know. I know that President Trump is a brand new believer. And I know that he will end up being respected and honored in this country. Amen.